Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. Today we are in Hilton Head Island and we're going to be checking into Marriott's Grand Ocean. It is a Marriott Vacation Club. Parking was easy. They had a few parking spots in the front. We went to go check in and our villa wasn't ready yet. So we got our vans. I know they're not really pretty, but I kind of like them. You wear them so that they know that you are registered. This is the entrance. This would be check-in and we're going to Loggers Head Landing. Awesome place to go chill and wait for your room. We are here and this film was made in February 2022. At the present time, Loggers Head Landing is the only restaurant on the property that is open. While we're sitting here <laughs> waiting for our drinks in our room, I'm going to show you what Marriott gives you at check-in. You receive a very small tote bag with all these goodies inside. About all great things to do on the property and off. Lager's head menu is pretty basic. You know, it's your nachos, hamburgers, that sort of thing. You place your food order at the bar and they give you a pager to come back when your food is ready. As you can see, there's a lot of cool places to choose from to sit. This bar has a lot of atmosphere. It is located right by the beach and the pool. While we still wait for our room, I'm going to show you the menu guide and other things that they give you at check-in. Make sure before you go out to eat, you check this out. This, this right here is awesome. It has all menus of all different surrounding places to dine. Hilton Head Island is a foodie's dream. So many amazing places. This right here, check this out first. It's 10% off if you use your room key or I use the wristbands when you go to dine there. Shortly after, I received a text from the front desk saying my room was ready and they're gonna put us in the sandcastle section. I was super excited because I'm thinking, I think this is by the beach. Moving in and out is pretty easy. They have shopping carts and luggage carts for your convenience to make the check-in and check-out process a little less painful. There are no bellmen or anything <laughs> at Marriott Vacation Clubs. You kind of do it yourself. It's a home away from home. The villa they assigned us was on the third floor. I don't typically bring anything on my first trip up. I usually just bring my pocketbook and my camera so I could take pictures, obviously, and just make sure everything's good. I'm thinking it's going to be good. I'm thinking it's going to be oceanfront, and I'm, like, really super excited at the moment. On the elevator walls, you could see, like, the activity schedule for the week and all useful information. They use that real estate very wisely. Very good marketing, Marriott. Love it. Stepping off the elevator and looking for a room number, I'm getting very hopeful. I'm like, oh my gosh, I think we're gonna be oceanfront. This is gonna be incredible. My heart is pounding now as I'm walking closer to the patio. This is always the first thing I check out. I don't know, views mean the world to me. I absolutely love a beautiful view and nothing beats this. I actually had to cut out the sound of me screaming. <laughs> I think it was even like a squeal. It was pretty bad. <laughs> the view also was of the pool. How did I get this? I have no idea. When they ask, they and they do, Marriott will message you, email you before your trip and ask if you have any requests. And I said, I kind of want to be by a heated pool. I like to swim. Said nothing about the beach. I figured I wouldn't get it anyway. Like, I'm seriously so happy right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy, I love this. So it's got the tub and the big shower. The shower was a very fair size. It wasn't the biggest I've seen, but they also have the tub. A lot of resorts now are getting rid of the tubs and doing super sized showers instead. The master bedroom bathroom suite is very impressive though. I gotta say it has like everything. The lighting's beautiful, the colors are beautiful. It's huge. The bed personally for me wasn't the best Marriott bed I've ever slept in, but it's better than most. <laughs> the bed has personal lighting on each side for reading and it also has plugs right there for your cell phone so you could charge your phone while you sleep. I really don't even have anything to bad to say about this place this room is perfect and it's always so clean i always bring cleaners everywhere i go i don't even have to clean when i go into a marriott property it's always really clean look at this laundry facility like seriously this is like i wish i had this in my house <laughs> it's huge now we're gonna go check out the second bathroom and the second bedroom which has two queen beds 
My daughter joined me and my husband on this trip, so she occupied this area. So I actually didn't see or, or know much about this, but I was just blown away. Look at how large this is. Look at that closet. That is really super cool for a second bedroom and a timeshare. There is a large entranceway kind of slash foyer when you walk in, which I was just way too excited. I forgot to tape it. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> the couch is seating for four. It opens up into a bed, but the bed only opens up where three is. I wish the, the fourth one reclined. That would have been super cool, but hey, you know, <laughs> I'm not complaining. Look at this view. There was plenty of storage and everything worked mechanically well. There was nothing that didn't like was broken. Everything was super nice. There was towels in the room. They do not provide towels by the pools. I love that they had a separate potty room. Really cool. Refrigerator, everything stainless steel, granite, toaster for four wide bagels. I'm not really sure how many people, you know, eat breakfast in these villas. There are so many amazing places to go to breakfast in Hilton Head Island. It's crazy. I'm going to be having a video about the places that we dined while in Hilton Head coming up very soon. The wine glasses, they're pretty nice. Not too bad. And over here, these plastic cups, those are great to use for the pool. For those of you that don't know, a Marriott timeshares, you're usually allowed to bring your own snacks, drinks to the pool. Unless there's a bar there, then they might say no. But typically you can, but you cannot bring glass. You can't bring beer bottles, wine bottles. You have to put all your stuff into one of those plastic cups if you're going to take beverages to the pool. Just a heads up. This right here, this ice bucket is plastic. You could probably bring this <laughs> or beer cans. You know, you can bring anything to the pool, just no glass. Oh my, will you look at this view? I mean, I'm just so excited at this point. I'm just like, I don't even want to go anywhere. I'm like, there's so much to do on Hilton Head Island, but I think I just want to stay here all week. Oh my gosh. Every villa has five floors. I thought we were the corner unit when I first checked in, but I wasn't. <laughs> we are on floor three. Our villa stuck out a little bit more than everybody else's. I don't know if our patio was larger. I'm really not sure, but I was super, super happy. I'm gonna let you guys just sit and just chill and listen to the sights and the sounds of what it's like to be in the Sandpiper building. It's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna be taking you guys for a little walk in a bit, so don't go anywhere. We're gonna be seeing a lot in this video, but this right here is me walking down the stairs from my villa. We're gonna go check out one of the biggest hot tubs that I saw on the property. We're, this is where the activity center is, the indoor pool. We're gonna go check that out. And they're also doing make your own Bloody Marys. I mean, they make it for you, but for every registered person, you get a free Bloody Mary. I thought there'd be a charge, whatever. I went anyway, but they were free. I thought that was really nice. This right here is the underground parking, which we will discuss more later in the video. As you can see here, there's like the hot tub, there's ping pong, there's like things to do over here. It, it's kind of like, you know, a little gathering area, you know, it's kind of a courtyard kind of feel. And right next to that is the activity center and the indoor pool. I always think traveling in the winter that I'm gonna use the indoor pool, but I never had to. There was two beautiful outdoor pools that were fully heated that I totally used, so. But a lot of people did use this pool. This is just early in the morning. Before waiting in line to go get my free Bloody Mary. <laughs> had all the different toppings. I said, go for it, put the works on, let's do it. <laughs> With Bloody Mary in my hand, now I'm going to go film the north side of the beautiful Marriott Grand Ocean. This building, Pelican, right here is where I stayed last time I was here. So we're going to be going all through here. We're going to be checking out the pool area. I feel like this area of the resort at this time of year is less busy, less noisy. There's, there's no bars open there. There's no major pools. You know, it's just a very nice place to go walking, actually. Okay, this right here, we have to talk about parking. If you stay in this area and you want to park close to where your villa is, you have to park underneath the building. I guess that's pretty typical of a lot of places. You know, it's a little tight and stuff, but there is outside parking, which I will show you later. As you can see, this area is also beautiful. There's flowers and it's just nicely landscaped. Here you can also rent bicycles too. You could take bicycles on the beach and there's also paths that you could go by the road that you could go up and down. I mean, it's 
Hilton Head is just like another place like I've never seen before. It is very, very walker and bike friendly. It's just, uh, everyone here is very healthy. This right here, another huge hot tip. Like I said earlier, I stayed in this area last time. It was beautiful. Like you could go out there and take a night swim. You're all by yourself pretty much. It's um, This is like a lap pool here. Very, very nice place to stay. The depths in the pool stay pretty reasonable. Nothing gets very, very deep. The buildings are five floors high and you're pretty much going to be looking at the lagoon that is in the center there, which is beautiful. I mean, at nighttime, this place is all lit up and very tranquil. It's a beautiful walk around. It feels very safe. Over here, this is the North Pool. The North Pool is not open in the winter. I mean, it can be, but it's freezing. It's not heated, <laughs> but it's very clean. I'm supposed to, I guess if you're from like Antarctica, you might find it okay. <laughs> but uh, no, I, I didn't see anybody swimming there. There's also a children's pool there. There's lots of seating. This area in general, like in winter when I was here, was a very nice place to go if you don't want to be around people. I've been traveling continuously through the pandemic, so it's so nice now to see people actually congregating and going to activities and stuff. It's, it's, it's definitely improving. <laughs> the hot tubs, uh, they were like lukewarm. They were like, like heated pool temperature. I guess you could go in them. I don't know if they'd be like enjoyable if you're looking for a hot tub, but this is when I was there. It could be really hot today, you know? I'm just letting you guys know what the atmosphere and how everything was when I was there in February. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are, can you please be a sweetheart and hit the subscribe button and the like button? That would be awesome. It will help my channel out greatly. All right, now I'm gonna be taking you guys into the Seahorse Building. This over here is beautiful. It's got a beautiful view of the beach. It has a beautiful view of the North Pool. It has flowers. We, I went up the stairs at first just to go check it out and see what was going on there, but they were doing a lot of construction. Not sure exactly what was there or what they're working on, <laughs> but you can see the view is spectacular. What you will find here right now at the present time is if you take the elevator, lead you to this like rock star gym i mean it's incredible <laughs> i love it the views were just a oh, wow oh, awesome very cool the equipment too really top notch really awesome gym if you like to work out you'll be very impressed by this gym really cool are you finding this video because you're new to Marriott Grand Ocean and you're going to be staying here in the future or have you stayed here before let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you this right here, great find. <laughs> I'm not sure. I, I thought it was just a regular lounge, but then my husband later said that it might be an owner's lounge. I'm not really sure. It wasn't oh, like there was nobody there. It was kind of like we just walked in. But this is really cool. Like if you don't, you're not really happy with your view, you could go like sit out here at this lounge here. Really nice. I don't personally own at Marriott. I own at Westgate. This was an exchange. I'll talk about that later in the video. Right now, I'm going to be taking you guys out to the beach. There are two ways that you could walk out from Marriott Grand Ocean to the beach. And there's also a public one, which I'm going to be going on later, but I forgot to film it. But I'll show you later why you have to wear your Marriott wristband. There's Marriott Grand Ocean from the beach right there. This beach is beautiful. This particular day was probably about low 60s. It was tolerable being out there with a, a hoodie and stuff. It wasn't great for, you know, laying out. But during the course of our trip, people were out there with lawn chairs and stuff. This right here, this is the public walkway, which also goes right to Loggerhead. Marriott's Grand Ocean's restaurant and bar that I showed you earlier. The public can access that, but you need to have your Marriott band to get through the rest of the resort. So just make sure you wear that. We're going to be going to take you now to see the other pools that I haven't showed you yet. Right now we're entering through Loggerhead Landing and we're going to go check out the South Pool, which was open when I was here. The hot tubs, the pool, the bar, this is the place to be. <laughs> Loggerhead Landing is where you'd find all the activities. They provided some live music on some days. The hot tubs were perfect temperature, like they, you went in and you just got that, ooh, that warm, that warm feeling. Oh, it's so nice in winter. <laughs> I highly recommend coming here in winter personally for me. I know a lot of people like to do the summer thing and I totally get that. The South Pool also has a little area for your toddlers to play in. 
this was really cool. They had a wine tasting at the Loggerhead Bar too, which I thought was really cool. It was like you chose, you had to register. It was like you ordered sweet wine or dry wine and they gave you a little charcuterie box. It was totally free. Downside of Grand Ocean, there are no cabanas, but they do have these. I don't know if there's a charge for them typically, but there was obviously no charge for them in the winter. There is no cabanas. There are cabanas at Surf Watch though and Barony Beach. I did stay at those last year and they have cabanas. But over here, they have a few places you could sit with shade, but most of it is in the sun. I absolutely love cabanas and I haven't found cabanas that are free at a Marriott property except for Lakeshore Reserve in Orlando, Florida. One of my favorite places to stay. <laughs> if anybody knows of any, but any other place, any Marriott that has free cabanas, let me know in the comments below. I would love to go check it out. And now we're going to be checking out the Dolphin Pool at Marriott Grand Ocean. This pool looks awesome, but it was closed. <laughs> it, the, the water was just, yeah, it wasn't really enjoyable, <laughs> to say the least. They have a bar there as well, which was closed. I'm sure this place is awesome in the summer. If you love Hilton Head Island and you're enjoying this video, I'm going to leave a video playlist at the end of this video. <laughs> if you want to go check it out and see all the different hotels that I've stayed in, mostly Marriott properties, Sorry, getting off course here. <laughs> this actually, I think if I had kids, would probably be the area that I would want to stay in. They have like a little splash pad. It's just, it, this area here seems really, really cool. And it does, it has the big hot tubs. It also has that little area here where it has a little shade. I don't know, this place seems like it has it going on, but in winter time, there's really not much going on over here. <laughs> Do you own or stay at Marriott Grand Ocean? Let me know in the comments below where you like to stay. I mean, it, it's the whole place is great. It's, it's an amazing property. I am personally kind of in love with the Sandcastle building now. That view, <laughs> can't get over that. Can't get over it that easy. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna show you where parking is in the front. If you are like me and you hate like that tight kind of parking, you could park in the front. Also up here is where you can find smoking destinations. Marriott Grand Ocean is 100% smoke free. These are the only places that you could smoke without getting fined. Also while I'm getting into rules is Marriott Grand Ocean is pet free too. So if you're planning on coming with your little furry animal, you got to check that out because I believe it is 100% pet free unless you have a service animal, but even that, you have to go check and make sure that it is okay. I'm so sorry about all this. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I just like to know before I go. That's why I make videos like this because I look for videos like this that tell me what's up. <laughs> but as you can see, what a beautiful, beautiful place. I mean, it, it's such an awesome place to go. So I highly recommend it. Look at, <laughs> I love that thing that you could like clean your feet off when you leave the beach. It's like so cool. All right, now I'm back at my room. Look at, they even have TV down here. They have movies at night. It was a little cold that night. I don't know if anybody actually went. They're like, bring a blanket down. Marriott Vacation Clubs have texting now. So if you have a problem with your room or they could text you like, the pools are closed or we have a great dinner special great feature. As I'm sitting here thinking, I think there is seven Marriott timeshare properties on Hilton Head Island. I have other videos of different ones, but um, I'm hoping to do a video in the future of all the different Marriott properties in one video, just so other people can make better decisions about which one's best for you. Also, I never added that, but staying at Grand Ocean, they give you a pass to go into Sea Pines. Sea Pines is a part of Hilton Head that requires a pass or an admission to get into, I think it's $9 a day. So with staying at Grand Ocean, you get the pass to go in there. Grand Ocean is also in walking distance to Caligny Park, which is huge. It's a beach access, it's a park, but it's also next to Caligny Plaza, which is a huge shopping and restaurant destination. All that is good and fun, but look at this sunrise. This is why you come to Hilton Head. It's beautiful. It is currently March and I am in Connecticut and I'm watching this video saying I would die to go back there. <laughs> Seriously beautiful. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, like I said, asked earlier before, hit the subscribe button and the like button. And if you want to check out more videos, I'm going to leave the playlist of my Hilton Head Island videos at the end, which is going to contain all these videos that I'm currently working on right now. So I hope you enjoy it. And I hope if you want to go to Hilton Head that you do. It's an amazing island. 
and the Marriott Grand Ocean is beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. This is your host, Jennifer Sparks. Make sure you get out there and enjoy your life. Get out there and go, go, go. <laughs> be good to yourself, be kind to others, and safe travels to you.